But I love working for drag queens because they love tons of detail and crystal and feathers and all the things that I love to work with and they give me complete freedom. Waltham dressmaker Sandra Celli talking about designing for a drag queen on her new reality series Bling It On. In a three episode run, Moody Street's Queen of Bling dresses some quirky ballroom dancers, a seven year old girl and an up and coming singer, often pushing her and her team to the limit. Earlier this year, Sandy was thrown into the reality TV spotlight with My Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding. The show featured her outrageous creations for American Gypsy teens in the South. TLC liked the fearless dressmaker so much they gave her her own show, premiering Thursday, September 20th at 10 p.m. And I almost hit the floor. I, in my wildest dreams, I never thought I would be this big of a part of that show. Like the Gypsy series, Bling It On explores a last-minute world in which dress dreams come true. But now the focus is on some demanding Boston area clients and on Sandy's range as a designer. I haven't done steampunk before, you know. It's fitting that one of her clients orders a leather steampunk costume. A yearly festival has made the area around Sandy's shop a destination for steampunks everywhere. In episode 3, Sandy dresses Waltham's original Queen of Bling and one of her biggest inspirations, her mom Yolanda. Um, I was raised with rhinestones on my cereal. She needs to be on this show. It's just a fun thing to have, especially at a cocktail party. Ever the perfectionist, Sandy created a massive ring, glittering heels and a magnificent hat to complete the outfit. Coming, it looks fantastic, but going, it's equally as fantastic. The children's wear to the teenage girls to proms and quinceanera events and brides, even men. I mean, it's just amazing. Those shoes incidentally require 4,000 stones each. Sandy uses so many Swarovski crystals that the company paid for a new fitting room to accommodate some of her larger-than-life creations. Someone else is going to have to finish other parts of it, so it'll probably be like four or five days total. The girls who glue the crystals to fabric, leather, or fur are Sandy's blingettes, now characters in their own right. My whole life I've loved glitter and bling. With deadlines looming, the meticulous work isn't always easy. Sometimes Sandy can be a little bit tough. But sometimes there's more than just a dress at stake. There's a woman with um, breast cancer who had a mastectomy who needed a dress that made her feel great. It made me feel so great that I could make her feel great. I love it. I love it. I love it. A second gypsy season is now in the works. If Bling It On reaches a wide audience, Sandy could star in a full season of episodes. And yet it was never her dream to be in front of the cameras at all. For me, this is pretty odd. People call here all the time and want to come in here and take pictures with me and have my autograph. And I don't want them to think I am a star. I'm not. I'm just Sandy from Waltham. I'm a regular person who just got lucky that someone found my talent. And I'm happy and I love what I do and it, I'm having a good time showing it off. Yeah.